Hi, this is Grant from Star Labs. Today I want to show you how you can use the Clipper, or really any of our Star Labs mini guitars, to control Sibelius and enter tabs really easily and correct notation. So I did a lot of guitar teaching and I would, I would write tabs for students and a lot of times I would face the trouble of having to write it on the computer. Now Sibelius is really great that it even allows you to write tabs, but let me show you how I used to do it. So, for instance, today we're going to be doing C major triads and drop two voicings. So I would have to draw them in note by note. So the first one would start with C. And then above that is a G. And then above that, an E. Now if I want to make that a tab, what I can try to do is I can try to select it. I can select this chord, and I can try to copy it and paste it into my tab. Now, if you look what, what happened when I did that, it gave me an open chord. And that's not really what I'm trying to teach today. I want to teach a specific voicing. And I'll show you right now how much easier it is to do that when I have this MIDI guitar properly set up. So let me delete this. So I'm just going to go right into tab. I have my guitar all set up and I'm going to play the exact voicing of it I want. And that looks like this. And then when I release, the tab comes up correctly. So I'm going to show you right now how quickly I can go through this whole exercise. So that was the first chord of a drop two triad in C major. And I'm going to go diatonically through the key of C major and play the rest of the chords. So the next one would be a D minor then followed by an E minor, then followed by an F major, followed by a G major, followed by an A minor, followed by a B diminished chord, and finally back to C major. Now you see how quickly that, that was. So right now I have correct tabs. Now I hit one note here errantly, but other than that, we have our tabs right here, and these are the exact voicings that I'm trying to teach for this lesson. So if I take all these, and I just copy and paste them into notation, right above we get perfect notation, which is exactly what I was trying to do for this lesson. Now that would have taken me maybe four or five, ten times as long as if I was, if I didn't have this device. So let me real quick show you how I set it up. I'm using uh, Sibelius 7, by the way. So if I go into Note Input, under Input Devices, I can click here and I can set it up. Now you can see that it's already detected my Star Labs MIDI guitar. But if it didn't, I would press Find New Input Devices, and this would pop up right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change type. You're going to want to make sure that's on guitar. So it gives you the option of keyboard or guitar. So that needs to be on guitar. And then you tell it that it's a six string guitar and the MIDI channel of the highest pitch string is set up to be one. Now I have this specifically set up in this preset so that each string transmits to a different MIDI channel. And I'll make that preset available in the comment description as well as the PDF for this lesson. So once that's all set up, you can just go and play. And if you enter right into tab, it's going to give you correct tabs right away. So you can choose whatever rhythm you want here. So I could do the same exercise in half notes if I want, if I want it to be a little more spaced out. So I select half notes, and I can just play through these chords. See, I made one little mistake, which is easy enough to clean up. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna play this one in again because that's it's even easier than entering it in if I can just go and play it again. And there you go. Again, I have the tab exactly how I want it, except for 
for that little guy. I can just copy and paste it and get my notation. So for me, this is a huge improvement over how I was doing it before, and uh, it, it makes it a lot easier for me to write lesson plans. I can write chord arrangements for, for different songs. If the rhythm is simple, and if it's all quarter notes and half notes, it's really fast. If I'm using the record function, I have to play it very accurately, and it's a little bit more difficult. But entering it as simple half notes, quarter notes, or whole notes, is you can do it in a snap, and you can get the exact fingerings you want, not just the correct notation. Thanks for watching my video about how you can easily enter tabs into Sibelius using your Star Labs MIDI guitar. I'm Grant Fisher. Thank you.